When I say the word Doom Clone, what comes to mind? Oh, usually pain, misery, suffering through a game that's second rate at best and probably should never have been made in the first place. And when I say Cyclones? Oh, you mean the good Doom Clone. A groovy good time making lots of things die. Cyclones is a little weak on premise, but... It's a Doom Clone, so it doesn't really need one. Right. The situation is, aliens have begun an attack on Earth. They don't seem to like us very much. Earth's only hope is to bond a cybernetic suit of combat armor to a living human soldier. Guess who volunteered? Yep. You just don't know when to shut up, do you? Owners of the CD-ROM version get some digitized video during each mission briefing. It's pretty poor quality, definitely the shovelware portion of the game. The actors have all the conviction of Kevin Costner's Robin Hood. What I'm saying here is, don't expect to see any of them in Pulp Fiction 2. I hear they need some fresh faces for the sequel to the Santa Claus. Once you get past the cheesy video, the actual game is far better than I thought it would be. It has very responsive control, and it's nice and fast with a very good frame rate. SSI isn't known for action games, so the quality of Cyclones really took me by surprise. The game plays as fast as Doom does, and it doesn't feel like a cheap knockoff, because it isn't one. One thing that makes Cyclones stand apart from the crowd is that the missions involve more than just killing everything in sight. You always have a specific goal, like freeing a hostage or reactivating a sealed door. The missions build on each other, too. A passkey you retrieved in one mission may allow you to activate an alien ship in the next. It makes you feel like you're involved in an actual story, which is good if you like a little depth with your mayhem. The best part of Cyclones is its unique targeting method. Instead of just having a gun pointing at the middle of the screen, you have crosshairs you move with the mouse. It lets you move in one direction and fire in another. The crosshairs change color to reflect what it's positioned on. If you're targeting an enemy, the crosshairs is orange. If it's a usable item, it's green. If it's over a door, it turns purple. Talk about your intuitive interfaces. The one aspect of gameplay that I didn't like was the auto map. Its isometric 3D viewpoint is a nice idea, but it didn't turn out all that hot. It's very hard to tell where you are and it's kind of ugly to boot. I almost always have to turn the walls off to see where I am on the map, and since it doesn't scroll freely, you have to keep clicking the arrow keys. The auto map works, but it could have been easier to use. One minor grumble aside, I think Cyclones is a solid and challenging action game. SSI and Raven Software have taken an overused game idea and made something unique with it. Good job, guys. If you're a Doom fan, you should definitely check out Cyclones. It has a great feel, and it's tense and even scary at times. Cyclones is a high-quality arcade game floating in a sea of cheese.